Cameron from Tweak Town. Um, I'm here at the Azus headquarters. I'm uh, next to Richard, and uh, he's about to introduce us to a range of new Z77 motherboards. Okay, uh, hi Richard. Um, if you've got a minute, uh, if you can tell us about some of your new range of boards here. So sure, these are the, the new three ranges coming out for Z77 for the upcoming uh, Intel launch. And uh, the three ranges are, are standard boards. So this, is, this one is the high-end, the P8 Z77V Deluxe, as well as the ROG range. And the first one is the Gene board, Maxwell's 5. And we've also got a brand new Sabertooth Z77 as well. So these, these cater for slightly different, uh, these are different, uh, different people. So we've got, we've got sort of all-round uh, features and sort of good overclocking and so sort of, and the deluxe board has sort of everything on it that kind of thing whereas ROG board aimed at gamers the gene specifically uh, Matex land gaming great value great overclocking that kind of thing and the Sabretooth is built for sort of very high end sort of consumer workstation level uh, it has uh, extra cooling on it for very low airflow um, environments and if you live in a very hot country and keeps the dust out as well. Okay. So, so maybe we can start with the server tooth and you can okay. tell us some of these, these features. So as you can see we've gone back to the thermal armor here and the complete covering of the board and there's two split zones down the board so this area is completely separate from this area and in the box you can bundle two fans, that you, one you can fit here and one you can fit here and this blows air down through and out this way and so it's cooling the south bridge as well and also the fan here sucks air in and pushes air out through the heat sinks here pushes it out here as well okay and i understand there's also holes in the back of the motherboard so, for ventilation yeah, there's extra holes drilled through so you get here 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 for example mm -hmm. and here as well so these these it not only pushes air through the heat sinks now here it pushes air out the back as well, so it cools all the back of the board as well. So, so you're, you're dropping the temperature slightly a few more degrees as well. If you're in, a, again, a zero airflow environment, very humid, very hot, this helps. And then um, off camera before you guys were saying that you noticed around 10%, uh, a 10 degree Celsius um, improvement in performance by adding a fan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it, you, don't, you don't have to add the fans. They're optional in the box. And if your case has got great airflow, then you know, you, you really don't need to add them. There's nothing too hot under here that will that will suffer. So, but if you're if you're in a hot country, very hot environment, if you run it like a zero airflow, uh, all water cooled system, then to overclock as well, putting in the fan helps keep things stable, helps keep things cool. Yeah, well. and there's also covers here for the PCI Express. Yeah. So, so for so example, we can take one off, we can see. these are all bundled in the board as well. So these, these are dust coverings. So if you don't use these slots here, you put it on, keeps the dust out from inside the slot so you don't have to blow them out with the compressed air. Mm. So, you know, six months down the line, it's all nice and clean. For and then also... Um, yeah, the spare mem memory slots as well. To protect the dim slots. Yeah. yeah, so if you've only got two dims in, the other two dims can be protected here. And these are, these are specifically thinner so they don't affect any of the, any, any of the connectors inside. Yeah. Okay, so that's the that's the saber tooth. Mm -hmm. um, we can't talk too much about sort of the interrelated features because these boards haven't launched yet. Yeah, but um, you guys will review them in full. So that's we will. Uh, and Richard, maybe if we can move to the next one. The, yeah. This is the ROG board. So the first one we're launching is G, and this will be followed up by the Formula after launch. So the G has been updated with Supreme Effects 3 audio, and that has a separate. Just plug this in for you. This has a separate PCB on it that we can sh we can show by the red line. So all we need to do is plug in the ATX power and turn it on. And the standby voltage will let you show you the the red line on the board. Mm, so this this so this base this part here is actually a separate PCB, PCB. bolted together. Okay, so and that's it, gonna, that's going to help with all. Completely isolates the audio signals, the analog audio signals here from the digital ones all across the board. Okay. And it's buffered by this large 1500 UF cap, so it filters out any of the any of the, the interference, interference from, like that. Yeah, yeah. From, from the power supplied by the board, yeah. as well as it also buffers if you've got a very loud explosion happening, 
then you hear the full deep boom, it doesn't cut out suddenly. Okay, so it's going to allow for that sort of, kind of like, a, I guess you would say like a, maybe a more stable mm-hmm. audio performance? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's the idea. You get a consistent audio performance that, that always sounds the same. Okay. And what other features are on this board that should be So we've got a uh, slightly upgraded ROG chip that has Bass Flashback on this board. So Bass Flashback was previously uh, on, the, on the Extreme uh, Z77 board. And but not on the gene, so it, that that got moved to the whole range of X79 boards, and now we brought it down to the whole range of Z77 boards. So you can do bass flashback on this board, which means you can update the bass even when it's just in this state, no CPU installed, mm-hmm. no memory, and also it's got probit functions here, standard probit, and uh, LEDs for boot up here and here. So you've got diagnostic stuff, and you've got full range of. Uh, SLI, cross fast port, and an open ended yeah. X4. So, you should be expecting good performance from a yeah. system. And we've also got bundles in the board, bundles in the box. We've got the M- MPCI combo card. So, this is bundled like this here, and it goes, plugs in by here. Okay. So, so, so this will this will you be, here you better you better to install a uh, M SATA like a small yeah. SSD. So this, uh, this, like this, yeah. this is this is what it is completely fitted. So you've got an OCZ SSD in here, and a Wi-Fi card here. So okay. you can you can basically upgrade your PC without having to sacrifice graphics card slot space because you're limited in this side of board. So even because this is a 60 gig SSD here, you can install the whole OS onto here, mm. and then have no SATA ports yeah. used at all. So you can make a custom case that is exactly well, okay, this so size. So that's important for some case models. Yeah, yeah. So, so you've got case modding aspect to it, you've got, you've got, this can be a cache drive, this can be full SSD. You, yeah. you, well then also the, other, also the other benefit of this is that you're pulling it away from one of the really hot areas of the motherboard and you're putting it to a, sort of a cooler area. Yeah, so so the SSD, the SSD is sort of not going to get affected by mm-hmm. uh, excessive heat. Yeah. And also because you've got, because you've got a bit of extra space here, you can use longer cards. So if you, if you, Buying extra cards with uh, extra NAND capacity on them, they can be slightly longer. Okay, so it's not real, like non standard uh, M SATA SSDs and things like that. I mean, we. We don't know if these things are coming, but there's more and more M SATA coming on the market, so we're just trying to give as much option to the to the users as possible. Okay. And these you can you can you know pull out of any old laptop, or you can try and find online stores, laptop online stores that sell them. They're just standard M SATA and sorry M M P C I E. M P C I E on here. Yep. Okay. And so our last one is our our deluxe board. And we've also got pro and standard boards coming on on the normal ones as well. So Deluxe has 16 plus 4, so 16 CPU, 4M uh, iGPU, plus 2 VCC SA, plus 2 VCC IO, plus 2 DRAM. So it's you know, fully kitted out for overclocking, even though it's it's a, a fully spec board, mm-hmm. and it's. Uh, Digital power control here and the memory. So we brought again. We brought that down from X seventy nine. Full digital power control on all all areas, and um, it's also bundled with the dual band Wi Fi and Bluetooth four. This is bundled in the box as well. Okay. And again, we've got bass flashback on here, which you can see here. And we've got Display Port as well. Yep. So even the Gene as well. It also has Display Port for and HDMI. Okay. So you can do dual VGA out. Yeah, plenty of USB 3 ports as yeah, well. Yeah, plenty of USB 3 ports yeah. and USB 2 as well. And you can do 3 SLI or Crossfire on it. And you've got up to the usual 8, eight SATA, 4SATA 6G, front panel USB 3. SSD caching as well. SSD. That's not really a new feature. That's that's came from yeah. a couple other generations. Yeah, it's yeah. rolls over. Yeah. So this board is literally packed with a load of features. Yeah. And it's, it's then you're also going to be overclock at the same time. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So so for for launch, this you know you can you can do full end overclocking on this. We're still tweaking the formula board, so that'll launch a month later. And we're, they're still doing tweaks to maximise the overclocking on that one as well. I mean, come Computex in June, we'll also have some special uh, announcements then as well. So stay tuned for that. Okay. Well, thank you, Richard, for your time. Cheers. Okay. Thanks, everyone.